on 10 News, fed up with the area's homeless and trash, business owners in Hillcrest aren't sure a new quarter million dollar plan is the right fix. But 10 News reporter John Horn explains why some businesses are still opposed because of who gets the money. Smash to go containers, there's dust on all the plants, there's uh, refuse everywhere. Everywhere, steps from Dan Cassidy's real estate office on University Avenue. And that's not all he says keeps potential customers from stopping in. There's a couple guys over here. And so anytime somebody walks by, they will panhandle them. Problem is, he relies on walk-ins, as do many of the restaurants, coffee shops, and bars that pay thousands of dollars a month to rent space on Hillcrest's east end. The cost of doing business on a day-to-day -day basis is typically in excess of a couple hundred dollars a day. And now that cost could go up to pay for cleaning the streets, fixing the trees, removing the gum, and clearing out the homeless. And the plan on the table to fix the problems could end up costing you. The Hillcrest Business Association wants each property owner on this stretch of university from the 163 to Park to pay an average $1,200 a year for the services. Association President Benjamin Nichols says it would bring in more customers. Even if it does result in a little bit higher costs for your martinis or your margaritas, I think people will pay for that experience. Cassidy says he wants a solution, but he's not yet on board paying the business association even more money to handle it. That's in part because it owns the trash can that keeps overflowing outside his front door. While we are here or in the next hour, uh, some homeless guy will come by and make his lunch from some of the restaurant waste that's sitting around here. But Nichols says with the extra cash, the association could pay its contractor to pick up the trash an additional three times a week. John Horn, 10 News. The Hillcrest Business Association is holding a public meeting on the plan next month. If there is enough interest, it could ultimately go to a vote of area property owners. Take a look.